Rightio folks, this is the second video in my series of Murray Cod Tips heading up to Cod Opening which is right on our doorstep. In this video I'm going to be talking about what is in my tucker box, what Murray Cod lures am I taking out on Cod Opening this year. Right out, folks, cod opening. I have got all sorts of different colours, shapes and sizes in there and each of them has their place. Let's go through them quickly. Here I have a couple of predator lures. Predator lures are made in Wangaratta by Dave Broman. He's been making them for probably close to 30 years. They're a fantastic lure and Dave's a fantastic guy. And these two here have actually got larger than normal bibs. He's given me these to play with because I told him I needed something that dives a bit steeper. So I've got two predator lures with larger than normal bibs with a wire trace in the bib. I'm really looking forward to giving them a run. Got a bit of a tangle here. You'll notice I don't have anything fancy when I carry my fishing lures around. I don't believe in fancy stuff. I like to keep things stupid. Here's a Coolabung wake snake. He's missing his tail. That's not overly important. The actual main body of the water can still, body of lure can still swim really well. And I'll be using this in holes where I suspect there might be a bigger fish hiding because that's quite a large lure. And a wake, wake bait can be a lot of fun to catch Murray Cod with. And they can actually be quite, they are uh, quite a good lure. They, they, they've known to catch quite a lot of larger cod, the wake bait. So I've got one of them in. I've got this. G-Crack Gilling. I was playing with this late last season. I actually done a review on it. It's quite a nifty little lure. Quite an expensive lure, unfortunately, but very, very lifelike. It doesn't displace much water, and it just swims and looks like a real fish as it swims through the water. This won't be my go-to lure. It certainly won't be the first lure I run in the season, but on those days where I suspect the clutter up closer to the edges, or heading towards the end of the day, before, it might be too early to put a surface lure on, but you know the fish aren't too far from the surface. Something like this that just swims underneath will go well. And the best time to use this is when you've got a fish buffing your surface lure but failing to hook up. So you want to cast something that's going to swim just underneath the water so the fish, the cod doesn't have to come to the top. Something like that is perfect because it'll swim underneath the water a foot or so and might just turn that, that unhooking buff into a solid hook up for you. Some Wilson Slickbacks. We all know how much I love my Wilson Slickbacks. They're getting harder and harder to find. Thankfully I've still got a few. Now these are not being made anymore. They're something that we're going to say less and less of unfortunately because I think they're a great lure. But I've got a selection of Wilson Slickbacks in here. Orange, pink, green. It's always good to have a variety of colours because some colours might work some days and not the others. So I've got three Wilson Slickbacks and I've got the full size ones. I think they're 100 mil or 90 mil or something like that. They're quite large and they're very fat. They're a fat solid lure. I have got some spinner baits. I've got some Bassman DTs and Bassman 4x4s in my tackle box. I love the DTs and 4x4s because when they sink, particularly the 4x4s, when they sink, the blades will propel her and they'll just slowly sink down and you get a lot of hookups on the sink as well as on the retrieve. I might find there's nothing taking this to hard body lures and I might want a spinner bait for something different. I might find there's nothing taking the spinner baits, I might want to go to hard body lures. I might find those big logs in the water such as this one up here and I just want to parachute a spinner bait right down into the honey hole and it might even be too deep for the hard body lures to get down to. In which case you might clip them off and clip a spinner bait on. It's good to have spinner baits and hard bodies and I like fluorescent colours. So they, there are, and I'm going to make a different video all about lure colours shortly, but I've got three Bassman spinner baits, actually I've got four Bassman spinner baits in here. There's another DT. The DTs and the 4x4 by Bassman are my favourite spinner baits. This is a Depths Buzzjet surface lure. I was given this to play with last year actually. I haven't caught a fish in it, but I've had a couple of little buffs. I'm just going to give that a play when, the, when, when I feel when the timing's right, I guess. When I just want to try something different. A Depths Buzzjet. It actually looks really, really awesome on the water, but I didn't get my hands on it until late in the season. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes when the season opens. That white line down there and the patches on the side make it a similar sort of a colour to a spotted marsh frog. Although it doesn't sound like a spotted marsh frog on the water. It's quite intrusive in that it makes a lot of a pro propeller sound and it swims side by side. I can't help but think I'm going to catch a couple of cod on that this year. I've got a couple of Zerek flat shads. Soft plastic fishing is really, really good fun. Last year you would have seen me catch a couple of Murray cod on soft plastics. I'm going to be doing a lot more of that this year because I absolutely love it. 
and of course you can't go past the old faithful number one stump jumper you just cannot beat the number one stump jumper they're easy to find most good tackle shops have got them a lot of supermarkets even stock them or, or retail chains like Kmart and Big W I'm talking about they come in a great range of colors they're very well priced they're easy to get your hands on and best of all they catch fish number one stump jumper is my favorite number two is good for yellow belly but for Murray Cod it's all about the number one and I won't go anywhere without having a couple of them in my tackle box and last but not least I've got a Coolabung Cod Cracker this was my number one surface lure last year. I caught some really nice cod on this Coolabung Cod Cracker last season, and I'm looking forward to giving it another swim this year. So right righto face, that's what I've got. I've got a great variety. I've got some nice bright colors. They're the lures I'm using. They're the reasons I'm using them. I hope you found this video useful, and I tell you what, I have not looked forward to Murray Cod opening any more than what I am this year. I am just absolutely excited, and I just can't wait to get out.